inconsistency of ampere circuital law as you know that when a current is flowing into the current carrying conductor magnetic field produced around it so here you can see that the i current is flowing into this conductor as a result magnetic field develop around this so here if this is the current carrying conductor and current flowing is in upward direction you know that the magnetic field line will be inward direction here in the this side right so these are inward direction can be represented by the cross sign and those magnetic field lines comes out from this side so this is the tip so you can connect it like this way so this is a closed path at every point of this closed path magnetic field is tangentials so magnetic field is tangential at every point so if you consider a small segment of the length that is dl the direction of uh, its vector dl will be parallel to the vector b because this is along the length of the small segment so if you want to write this uh, ampere's line in integral form that is closed path integral b dot dl is equal to mu naught times the current which is enclosed by that closed loop here i is this one this current is enclosed by the loop so only then this formula will valid so closed path this is the closed path this is the loop right so b dot dl is equal to mu naught times i the differential form of this ampere's law is del cross b is equal to mu naught times g the point is that this ampere's law was valid only for the direct current it was not for the alternating current so this is the inconsistency inconsist and we have to show it by taking the divergence of this equation now we are taking the divergence so divergence of the curl here left hand side and divergence of the mu naught times j mm -hmm. right so mu naught is a constant quantity can comes out and the curl, divergence of the curl is equal to zero so therefore you have this value divergence dot mu naught times j mu naught cannot be zero so divergence j is equal to zero which conclude that d rho upon dt you have seen in continuity equation is true only when is equal to zero and it was for the steady state current it means the divergence j is equal to zero uh, signifying that uh, the uh, current is direct current steady state current right so it means the ampere's law is valid only for the steady state current but what about the time varying current alternating current what type of the formula should be in case of when we consider the alternating current so here some corrections are needed into the ampere's law which are made by the maxwell maxwell modified the ampere's law using displacement current now the second question is does displacement current is similar as to the traditional current like alternating current and dc current or it is different yes it is not looks like the traditional current it is different current it basically observed through the time varying electric field so what is the concept of the displacement current displacement current you observe from the time varying electric field you know that the time varying magnetic field produce the current similarly you have to uh, use the second sentence that time varying electric field produce the magnetic field 
right so you vice versa you can we can use this concept and this is the only concept into the displacement current that time varying electric will produce the magnetic field because we use mag ampere's law to calculate the magnetic field so for that purpose what we are doing we are just introducing a new current that is the displacement current and noted denoted by jd so here this jd is the displacement current now take the divergence of both side of these equations divergence of this curl and divergence of the right hand side you know divergence of the curl is equal to zero so divergence of the right hand side you can expand like this you know now we have this is equal to zero this vector is equal to zero so this can be written as that divergence of mu naught times j plus jd that is the displacement current this is the current density right so equal to zero and when you simplify it you know that mu naught cannot be zero so the next of the term will be equal to zero which is shown here divergence of j plus jd is equal to zero simplifying it divergence j plus divergence of jd is equal to zero which shows that divergence of j is equal to minus divergence of jd by using the continuity equation put the value of divergence here that is minus zero upon dt and further what you have to do here now divergence is equal to minus zero j upon dt minus sign here this cancel out and as a result you obtain this one divergence of jd is equal to d rho upon d2 now at this particular step you have to put the value of rho here by using the Gauss equation in electrostatic in differential form which says that divergence of is equal to rho upon epsilon naught where rho is equal to divergence in dot epsilon naught e epsilon naught e is the electric field density e is the E is the electric field density and D is the intensity. So one can write rho in terms of the density of the electric field or intensity of the electric field. Now by putting the value of rho one can get the divergence dot and divergence of JD is equal to differentiation of it with respect to time that is the divergence of D. So rearranging the term here, uh, this divergence del dot comes out and differentiation of the intensity of electric field. This differentiation of the d is basically the displacement current density. So this is the value of jd. When you put down this value into the equation number one, the equation becomes in this form, and this is the uh, displacement current density form in ampere's law so now this formula is valid for both the currents dc as well as ac